target goose to target three. We show a Japanese squadron approaching the picket line. Ascend the 4,000 and report. Roger that base. Altitude 4,000. Betty 16 solo. I have 35 bogeys off my right wing. Huh? What the hell? This is squadron leader. There's an American scout plane below us. Shoot it down. Roger, squadron leader. We will execute immediately. The cherry blossom, once it falls, can never go back to its tree. It dies in complete isolation. This is a special attack craft called Oka. It carries a single pilot and attaches to the underside of a mother plane, which transports it to its target. It is then released and explodes on impact. It breaks through the enemy's defenses at an accelerated speed using a special rocket engine. This increases the velocity of the projectile, which can't be stopped until it crashes into its target. It is, in every sense, a human bomb. Just as the cherry blossom never returns to the tree, the pilot of the Oka never returns home. The cherry blossom became the symbol of this human sacrifice, which was seen more and more in the final days of World War II. Target three to target goose. I've got bogeys on my tail. I'm taking evasive action, but they're coming in from everywhere. Ah! Attention on the flight deck. Enemy squadron approaching the picket line. Scramble, scramble. All available pilots. Intercepts and destroy. these guys been able to locate us? Easy. The radar picks up everything. They don't even need to fly a scout plane if they don't want to. Hmm. We have 50 kilometers left before the target. We have to be closer for accuracy. Right. <gasps> There's no stopping the Oka after it ignites. Get close. Enemy fighter spotted. <laughs> Our guys are dropping their bombs. Zero Hunter to base. The Japanese are out in Thunder Force today, with torpedoes.
You must be the pilot of the Oka. The one who survived the dogfight today. I heard that a scout ship on a flyby fished you out of the water. You're a lucky man. I'm ashamed to have been saved. That's bull. I don't know what the commander said to you, but being saved is a thing to celebrate. Here, drink. What? You want to drink with me? Absolutely, Lieutenant. We should celebrate your survival. Even if it does turn out to be for just one day. Say what? You're going out tomorrow for another attempt on the enemy, and I'm going to be your pilot. Let's go have a drink with the flight crew. They all want to meet you. Private Nagama. Sergeant Okiyumi. Private Okawa. Private Toyama. Private Hata. Private Matagami. And I'm your flight captain, Lieutenant Yamaoka. Lieutenant Nogami, I'm looking forward to our flight. Come on, you guys, stop it. Don't be depressed now. Just because we're transporting this plane, that doesn't mean we're all going to be killed. <laughs> yes, you're right. Only one man among us has to make that sacrifice. That's Lieutenant Nagami. Right, but it's very strange. All the transport planes were blown out of the air. I was the only one who survived. The damage was pretty bad. Only six escort fighters made it back home. I guess the enemy flight crews have a lot of combat experience. We're pretty much amateurs by comparison. A transport plane with an inexperienced crew is a pretty easy target. If you can bring the Oka to within 30 kilometers of their fleet somehow, I promise you can count on me to blow up their ship. Once the Oka hits it, there will be nothing left of that destroyer but scrap metal. Look, once the oak is released, you've got to fly away and get yourselves out of danger. Do yourselves a favor, don't look back. Is Lieutenant Nagami in here? Yes, what's this all about? Lieutenant. Are you the Oka pilot who survived? We want to apologize for our failure. When we escort you tomorrow, we promise there will be no mistakes. Forgive us. That is what we came by to say. You'll get through tomorrow no matter what they do. I was afraid they were going to try to blame you for their failure. I'll tell you something. I feel like the squadron's going to go crazy in this place. I know. We're carrying someone with us who's doomed to die. It's horrible. Whoever came up with the idea of committing suicide in the Yoka has got to be crazier than we are. <gasps> Don't even say such a thing! Ugh! Any of us could die in this war. It's whether or not we die with honor that matters. That's why they came up with the idea of the human bomb in the first place. Nagami, think about it. Fighting to the death and sacrificing your life are different things. What you're about to do takes a lot more guts because your destiny is predetermined. I suppose you're right. See? Someone has to sacrifice so the rest of us can live. I accept that. How beautiful! She must be playing a tune for the man who's going to pilot the Oka. It's almost like a farewell song. Her music has such a lonesome feel. Could it be your girlfriend? Afraid not. I've always been too busy to give a girl the proper attention. It's one of my few regrets. What would you have become if our country had somehow avoided this war? Ironically, I was going to be a rocket engineer. Oh, oh. 
Oh, that's why you volunteered? If we hadn't mobilized for this world war, if I had been allowed to work in my field for the next 30 years, I would have launched a rocket to the moon. You see, that was always my dream. I tell you, from my perspective, that's the real tragedy of this war. The loss to the world of the young people who died. They would have contributed so much to society. Robert was a wonderful guy, and what a talent. Yeah, he told me he was going to be a big-time successful cartoonist someday. If he had just lived another 30 years. He wasn't the only one. Bill and Pete didn't make it back either. Heads up, gentlemen. We have no time for regrets. Captain! These are pictures of today's skirmish with the Japanese squadron. Oh. Oh. This is a cherry blossom, a human bomb! That's right. 3,000 pounds of gunpowder and a special rocket engine that can reach an immediate speed of 1,600 miles per hour. Are you telling me, sir, that there's no way our fighters can shoot that plane down? Son, my experts tell me there's only one way we can protect the fleet from this type of weapon. We have to go up there and shoot down the mother plane before the rocket can be launched. <sighs> That's a long shot. <sighs> escorting us on today's mission. I counted 16 Shidens out of 40 escort fighters. The Shiden's a short-range weapon that's only good for local defense. That means there's only going to be 24 Zeros to take us all the way to the American fleet. Will that be enough to hold off the American fighters until we can launch the Oka? Oh boy, that engine skips occasionally. Nothing can be done. The airplane components are being made back home by women and junior high school students. Worse than that, everything's being made from old stew pots and skillets! <laughs> <laughs> In spite of everything, I'm sure our planes are being made better than those awful cheap tanks. Whoever made those terrible tanks should kneel down and beg forgiveness from the soldiers who have to fight them. Hmm. I wonder what the man who invented your weapon is feeling. That's a very interesting question. I've spent many hours thinking about it. I've tried to put myself in his position. Most rocket engineers don't think in terms of weapons. So when he was ordered to develop this device, he must have been terribly sad. He was forced to create a death trap. He would have known that they were going to have to put a human being on board. And he would have known that that human being was never going to return from the mission alive. The Shidens are dropping their bombs. Does that mean they're leaving? They'll run out of fuel if they don't go back now. Oh. Well, I guess there's nothing more they can do to protect us. We're on our own. Sorry, Lieutenant. You Japanese are all crazy. Well, you're not getting past me. Wait, you're going? Hmm. I want to feel what it's like to sit in my own casket.
Tommy, can you hear? Sorry the space is so cramped back there. Don't worry, it's not like your ride. It's a comfortable one-seater sports model. Good luck, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate it, Lieutenant. Enemy fighters! <gasps> American Squadron at 2 o'clock. All fighters take evasive action. Hey, I can see them coming. Must be 30 of them. Let's do it. Take out as many as you can, boys. They got under us. Dive and attack. Commander's been hit. Behind a cloud. One fighter won't give up. He's on us. All right, then shoot him down. No way, pal. The right wing's been hit. It's going to be harder to maneuver. Cut me loose, Lieutenant. Take some weight off this plane! No! We haven't reached the enemy yet! I'm not cutting you loose until I know that you're within range! He's coming! 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 Hey! That's enough! Cut me loose right now! Ha <laughs> ha We can outfly this jockey! Release me! Cherry Blossom, bye-bye. Lambert! Enemy fighter on a collision course! See what? Ah! No! There's the enemy fleet! Alright! Thank you both! I'm ready! Nagami! It's up to you now! Go! <laughs> Right this way, sir. What? It's the human bomb. Try and blow it up. Ugh, it's too fast. Oh my god, the plane must have broken through the sound barrier. The boom came after the crash. Huh? What's this? Must belong to the pilot. It must have been his girlfriend or something. What a waste. Captain, we just got an urgent message. Our forces have dropped an atomic bomb on Hiroshima. Monstrous. Makes you wonder. Are we all crazy?
The history of the human bomb was short, just a footnote in the annals of a terrible conflict. In the Pacific theater, the Japanese Okas were the first prototypes of rocket-powered planes and missiles that would become common in the post-war years. The knowledge and advances gained from these experimental weapons were paid for with the blood of the men who volunteered to ride them to destruction. Now, with missiles pointed at every major capital on Earth, we hold our breath and wait, and pray that we've learned the lesson of the cherry blossoms.